Hey, Aditi here from Lodestone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. Uh, today, we are going to do a general read for the astrological sign of Cancer. Cancer, in placement, Cancer, um, just a little bit of housekeeping. So, this is itching, excuse me. Okay, so, a couple of things. Timing. Spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, so the linear timing may be a bit different than divine timing. That's all well and good. Spirit knows what's best. Um, also, as far as gender is concerned, we have a feminine and masculine energy signature that has positively zero to do with actual genitalia. So... Uh, keep that in mind. Also, bear in mind that this will be a general read. So, not everything is going to resonate with everyone. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Let's see any other things. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. So good to see you. Um, if you. If this reading does resonate with you, be sure to like the video. Also, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification. And also, please leave comments. Um, I do read all of the comments and will respond in kind. Okay. Let's get a sip of this high quality H2O. And let's get this party started. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, okay, what information do you have for the sign of Cancer? All right, we've already got two, three, four, five, okay, let's keep it, let's keep, let's keep it moving, let's keep it moving. What information do we have for the sign of Cancer. Cancer is any and all placements and cross watchers. Thank you. Thank you. What other messages do you have for Cancer? Alright, let's take a look at some, shall we? First up. We've got the Knight of Swords, the Fool, and the Tower. Second row, we've got the Page of Swords. Okay, check y'all out. Page of Swords, Queen of Swords, and the Lovers. Okay. And third row, we've got the Eight of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles. Um, you you are ready. You you are ready to throw it all away. You are ready to risk it all. Um, and it's almost like you see because in this first row we've got. There we go. So we've got the Knight of Swords clarified by the fool, clarified by the tower. Okay. So when we're talking about the Knight of Swords, he's he's young, you know, he's got lots of he's got lots of energy and it's all very uh, potent. It's a good word, potent. Um, and we're talking about potent thought. Here, so very strong opinions, right? And if you've ever come across a young person whose mind is fixated on a certain idea, uh, you know it takes a team of wild horses, and usually the team of wild horses manifests itself in life experience before they get an opportunity or a chance to even change their mind. Yeah. It's kind of what we're dealing with here. Like, we've got this, we have this thought, and it's kind of developed, but not all the way. 
but one is convinced that this not fully developed thought is absolute truth. And then you've got the fool here, so that talks of, say, uh, new beginnings, a uh, new direction. Um, it's, it's starting fresh, right? And it comes in after the tower. So I see that with this tower moment that's happened, and that's always, no, it's not always, but the tower moment is like a, sh a seismic shift in foundation paradigm shift if you will like there's a, a big thing that has to a, a big thing has to come to a complete stop before you can move on and looking here it's like okay so you see the tower you see it coming and you're I get the word disassociating so that you can move on while this tower falls. Hmm. All right, so next up, we've got the Page of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Lovers. So with this page of swords, um, this is the, this is the information, the, the information gathering, right? So it's it's the recording of the information which leads to the not fully formed passionate thought, right? This is all the the fact gathering of a thing. Um, now, this could be, say, doing research. Um, this could be um, observing, right? This is taking it all in and, 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 and writing it all down, right? It's the messenger. It's the messenger. And then you've got the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is, she's very analytical, Right, because we're talking about swords and swords is air and air is thoughts. So she's very analytical, but she's also not suffering any fools. So when someone has the audience of the queen, uh, traditionally speaking, the queen of swords will have one hand out and the other sword up. And in this particular picture, her sword is her paintbrush. See? Let's get that back so you can kind of see it. But her sword is her paintbrush. And it's sitting, hmm, look at that. It's sitting in water. Hmm. There's something there with that. Just a little bit of emotion. Just a little. Uh, but she's, she'll listen, but when she gets any hint of any type of untruth, half-truth, any yarny go, and done. So, and this is, it looks like it's about and with the lover's card here, it's about making a choice, right? It's about the unification. I say this all the time. It's, it, to me, it's a unification card. Now, yes, maybe this is, you know, this could be something about like an interpersonal relationship or like, you know, someone that you, you love coming back or it's like, oh, it's the lovers and this is so great. But honestly, when I see this card, it's about the choice right we've got this even even in the cards we've got this beautiful picture you know of the bride and the groom and they're sharing the kiss and you've got the lovely unification candles and they're all intertwined I mean, and it's just it's just beautiful right but in order to get to this choice in order to get to this place 
in order to get to the aisle, in order to get to a choice had to be made. It's like, yeah, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go forth and I'm gonna invest in this person, in this idea, in this union, which is us. Like I am choosing. Both of them are choosing to choose they're they're choosing each other as a unit, right? It's all about the choice. So next up, we have the Eight of Wands. Please be clear. Make it clear. The Eight of Wands. The Five of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles. Watch your coins, kids. You're going to get some news that's going to... You're, there's there's some news coming in that's going to directly affect your resources and what i'm getting here is that you want to hold you want to hang on to what you have so look at unnecessary spending um look at go through your bank accounts check and check your subscriptions what are you paying money to that you don't use you know what are you using that you're not investing in you know, look at where, look at your ebbs and your flows as far as your resources and make sure that all of these things are in ship shape because your resources are going to be tested if they're not being tested already. So, um, the Knight of Swords, the Fool in the Tower, uh, let's get a little bit more clarification for these three. Let's see what we've got. Queen of Cups, Strength card, and the Two of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. The Strength card. And two of pentacles. Yes. You've got a lot of strong thoughts about a thing, and we're, you know, you're looking at this new direction that you want to go in to avoid calamity. And with that, you will need a handle on your emotions. Um, I just want to bring in, bring bring up just for, for checking it out. All right, so the Queen of Cups. Do you see all those fish in her office? She is up to her knees in emotion. It's everywhere. It's in it's in the cups. We've got we've got liquid in the cups on the desk. We've got liquid in the office. So much so that the fish are chilling. So it's not like it's a flood, right? But the thing is, she is so serene and she's she she knows. Like she's chilling. She's just like, okay, well tell me how you feel. You know, and if we, and you see that she is the therapist, right? So it would make sense, energetically speaking, it would make sense that a therapist's office is fraught with emotion. Like even look, I, didn't, I just now noticed this, even in the window, even, even in the window, the water's coming in, you know? So it's like there's emotion coming in from all sides, yet... She is dry. She's got water lilies. She's got water lilies on her suit. Fish in the bookcases. Like, if this woman don't know nothing else, she knows about the heart space, right? 
and she also knows how to properly manage it so that it does not become self-destructive, which brings me to the strength card. The strength card is not about brute force, right? It's never about brute force. It's about knowing when to apply pressure and when to draw back. It's about knowing when to advance and when to retreat, you know? And it's about, yes, it is about taming the beast, but it's more than that. It's about recognizing the feral within to be able to relate to the feral externally and give the feral that is external a sense of peace so that the non-feral side of you can negotiate which is some new shit for me and it's juggling with the two of pentacles it's like juggling what's old and what's new here it's Yes, the old ways used to work, but you know that the old ways aren't going to work anymore. Like, you you know this. You could always done that. You, it, it's time for some new stuff, right? And when we're talking about new things as it pertains to just the meat and bones of how you operate and you start changing that, it gets scary. You know, so it would make sense that there would be a lot of emotional attachment towards who you used to be, what you used to do, how that's not serving you and how to move forward, but not just think about it, actually do it. So we're going to clarify the Page of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Lovers. Well, shit. I just got finished talking about if we got some bull crap met with the queen of swords is she gonna cut it out right okay so we've got the nine of swords the seven of cups and the ace of wands so what i'm getting from this uh the nine of swords is like the mental anguish it's anxiety it's the it's it's the negative self-talk that we do to ourselves in abundance taking the hurtful things that others have said to us about us and internalizing them and believing them to be true is the nine of swords and then you've got the seven of cups right so even with the seven of cups, there are a lot, there are a lot of choices, but there's also a lot of empty choices here. And the challenge is knowing which one, which one, which one is the right one, right? Because they all look good. They all look good. But there's this opportunity if you choose the right one, lovers. It's going to put you in the right direction, right? So like with the Ace of Wands, this is like the, this is the life bringer. Yeah, this is not, this is, this is, this is creation. This is passionate creation. This is the opportunity to make something, make a thought real. To make a thought real, right? Okay, and let's clarify the Eight of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, let's see what we got here. Nope, we do not read from the floor. The lies. Okay. What do we have for Cancer for the Eight of Wands, Five of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles? Let's check it out. Check it out. 
Okay, we're gonna check it out. Justice. Ten of Cups. And the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. Okay. So justice is karmic. It's 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 divine justice. Divine justice is always fair. May not always feel like it, especially if you're on the wrong side of it. But if we're going to come back over here to where you have the Queen of Swords, you know, listen, I, I'm going to listen to what you have to say. But at the when it's all said and done, if you are giving me an earful of yarn ego, then so usually not usually so when we've got divine justice coming through and we find ourselves on the not so favorable side of it it's one of those points where it's just like yeah no yeah i did that well the nice thing about this is that you know now, now this part's done but if you're on the right side of it the right side if you're on the favorable side of justice then if this is this has been a long time coming it's been a long time coming and with the ten of cups and the wheel of fortune here um that tells me that there's some long-term happiness and faded events coming up for you if you take heed to the messages and and really look at your resources and do some spring cleaning yeah. so let's look at some final messages for cancer final messages for cancer please two of cups the universe and the page of wands two of cups the universe and the page of wands something is going to make your heart space very happy it's going to put your soul at ease you have completed a cycle it is time for a new one and the page of wands is letting you know that this new cycle is going to be a passionate one there's there's some yes there's some quick hot forward movement happening soon okay cancer Thank you for spending a few moments of your day with me. Um, again, if you resonated with anything in the message, please be sure to like the video below. Um, be sure to subscribe to the channel and also share the videos. Um, again, my name is Aditi and thank you so much again. And be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and I will see you next time. Bye, Cancer.